morning, YouTube land. Like a really, really super duper good morning. I mean, it's four o'clock in the morning. Have you ever woke up out of a deep sleep, like super duper early, and you just start thinking about God? Like, that's what I do. And I'm like, you know, there's something, you know, spiritually speaking, when you're a child of God, you get these tuggings on the inside of you. And I just watched a Paul Bagley video, and he mentioned that the Bilderberg Group is having a financial meeting. I know. I know, and, and isn't it just, you know, all last week, I'm talking about the New World Order, I'm talking about how this world becomes a different, more challenging place to live in, and to exist in, because we live in Satan's world, we live in Satan's world, now I just want you to know that we have been doing quantitative easing. That's where we're printing money, pumping it into businesses, so everybody thinks everything's fine. But it's not. And all the currencies are, the value is just falling. You know, it's like, it's gonna be a repeat of 208, and right now, they're trying to cushion the blow. I mean, I'm serious. These global financiers, you know, they're the global world elitists. These are current events. This is all determined and, you know, pre-forewarned by the Bible thousands of years ago for our time. When, when you hear that the Bilderberg financial emergency meeting is going to take place in Fort, La Fort Lauderdale, Florida, I mean, I know. It just... You know, it doesn't take an idiot to see what's happening. And, and, with, and with me being a Christian, and I know what the Bible says, he gives knowledge to like the very simple-minded because it, you know, the simple-minded people like me, I'm simple-minded. God said it. It's gonna happen. These are the things to look for. And the good news is this. Hey, I'm with you. I overcame the world. They hated me. They're gonna hate you. In the end times, you're gonna have persecutions. I'm serious. When you read about what Jesus went through, when you read about what we're going to go through, what we're going to witness, it's exciting. When you know Jesus as your Lord and your Savior, see, they can kill your body. They can. They're putting GMOs in foods. Cancer's way up. And I just want you to know, we are innocent bystanders. By, are, are we bystand? Bystanders. <laughs> bystanders. <laughs> we need better bystanders. <laughs> but you know what? I'm telling you, it's just, it's coming to that to where you see what the Bible says and you see it's happening. It is before these things have proof that they 
things that I feel in my spirit. It's like, okay, I, I feel it, but I don't have proof. All I can go in on is the Word of God, and then I just put that, and then I connect that with my spirit, and then a day later, boom, a video with the Bilderberg finance. You know, I'm sit. You know, I mean, don't, don't. Aren't you like me, where it's like this video on the Bilderbergs coming together? See, they know. They know horrible things are getting ready to happen. They're part of. I mean, they're the ones that meet at the Bohemian Grove, the Satanic people. They're the ones that offer sacrifices to Satan, blood sacrifices. When you think about it, and you think about how evil, how evil these people are, you know, they, they pull the strings that make things happen, and, and nine times out of ten, I want to say ten times out of ten, because <laughs> that's how sure I am. It's not always in the people's best interest. That's why I'm always asking, are you saved? Do you know Jesus? Because I, all I can say is happy times are not here again. You know? Remember that song they used to sing in the 20s? In the roaring 20s? See, this is the roaring 2016. I'm roaring 2016. Jesus is right around the corner. You know, you, you know, bless those, the people that wait on the 12th, you know, the 1,260 days. Just hang in there till the end because you're going to be blessed. We are living in those days. It's, it's not only so exciting, but it's so terrifying at the same time. <laughs> How can something be so exciting and so terrifying? Well, if, if, you know, number one, if you're not a woman and you've never given birth, a physical, where, where there's something getting ready to give birth, something, you know, I mean, the, we are in the beginning of birth pangs, you know, those contractions will just stop you dead in your tracks sometimes, where you got to hang on to the wall, where you got to hang on to the table. Where you read news and you're just like floored. You're just like, oh my gosh. You know, we're living in the last days. I know. It's exciting. It's so exciting. But you know what? I want you to know, it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his spirit. For the Spirit searches all things. Yeah, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of a man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. You'll read that in 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verses 9 to 11. 
9-11. I know. You know, I'm telling you guys this. I'm telling you. I'm telling you guys. It says those who are wise shall shine like the brightness of the firmament and those who turn many to righteousness like the stars forever and ever. That's in Daniel chapter 12 verse 3. Now I'm going to tell you guys or actually I'm going to share with you guys yesterday I went outside and I stood outside and I looked in the sun I gazed in the sun with my eyes closed and I just started praying and suddenly I was in the spirit and I could just feel the warmth and I said God I know we're living in the last days Father God, be with all my subscribers, the few people that I'm able to witness to, the few people that also know and see and feel and know and see and they know. And we're your children, Father God, and we love you, Father God, and we know you're in control, Father God, and we know troublesome times are ahead, Father God. But we are not afraid. We are in your glorious light. Your promises say you're going to watch over us and protect us. That we are not afraid. We're not supposed to be afraid. Whom shall we be afraid of? When we know that you, Father God, are in control. When you preordained all of this that's happening. When the pale horse rider is getting ready to start riding. The pale horse rider, meaning death. Meaning a temporary sleep. Father God, help us open our spiritual eyes. The days are ahead are not going to be good. But Father, Lord, you are more than good. And the battle belongs to the Lord. The battle belongs to the Lord. And, and Father God, thank you for loving me. Thank you for helping me see. Thank you for helping me that I'm able to warn other people, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for giving me a spirit of just trusting you, not being afraid. All I can do is pray, Father God, and just know that you're large, you're in charge. Father God, I am just a spirit. I know I'm going to see you face to face, Father, and I just exalt your holy name, Father God. You are so worthy to be exalted so worthy to be blessed. Father God, thank you for bringing, in, bringing me into this wonderful creation to witness this wonderful, wonderful last day's events right before my very eyes. I marvel at your creation. I marvel at your word. I get to be here and you're going to protect me. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for your wonderful son that did everything and made a way when I didn't have a way. Your son made a way for me, Father God. Help me step into the glorious light where we're all together. That's what I look forward to now is us being all together like one big family in the light. Yes, one big family in the light. That's what I look forward to. The darkness doesn't understand it. 
The darkness does not understand this. Help the light shine brighter in these days. Amen. And that's what I pray. And that's what I pray is that we shine ever so brighter. We have to. We're supposed to. That's what we're created to do. <laughs> when you're created to shine brighter, you know, stop being dusty. Stop being negative. Stop living your life in fear and cowering down. Just know he's in charge. God is in charge. Not us. This, you know, this, we, we are not in charge. Okay? I'm serious. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? I mean, when you are strapped in a ride, okay, because we're all at the amusement park right now. We are. We are. And it's not amusing. So when you can figure that out, the world, they're offering us popcorn. Here, play the dart, pop a balloon. Yeah, you know what that pop a balloon? That's the that's that's the pop. We're at the circus. We're at the fairgrounds. It's not it's not fun here anymore. We're not of this world. I see it happening and I just want to ask you one more time. Are you saved? Do you know Jesus? Do you know we're not of this world? We're just passing through. We are just passing through. And I gotta go. Have a blessed day. And don't worry about a thing. Not a thing. God is large and he is still in charge. This is God's show. God's running things. We're just all doing our part. 